To begin, lift the lid of your bead wrapper homogenizer and use the provided Allen key to remove the four fastening screws. Align the black cryo lid onto the bead wrapper and replace the four screws using the Allen key, ensuring that the lid is firmly secured. Position the thermometer probe under the bead wrapper lid and use a couple clip to secure the thermometer probe wire. Place the remaining couple clips along the top and side of the bead wrapper, guiding the wire through the clips. Plug the wire into the external thermometer. Connect one end of the compressed air hose to the BR Cryo unit. Connect the other end of the hose to your air supply. An additional fitting may be required. Connect the straight end of the insulated cryo hose to the BR cryo unit. Connect the elbow end of the cryo hose to the bead wrapper lid. The BR cryo unit is now ready for cooling. Run dry air at the max setting for 30 seconds to purge the air lines. Return the control knob to the off position. Add dry ice to the BR cryo chamber. Next, add ethanol or methanol, ensuring that the copper coils are fully covered. Allow the mixture to cool for five minutes. After closing the BR cryo lid, turn the control knob to increase airflow into the bead wrapper processing chamber. Pre-cool the processing chamber until the external thermometer reads negative five degrees Celsius. Load your samples into the bead wrapper processing chamber. Fasten the finger plate securely and close the lid. Input your desired time, speed, cycle, and dwell settings. Add dry ice to the BR cryo chamber. Next, add ethanol or methanol, ensuring that the copper coils are fully covered. Allow the mixture to cool for five minutes. Turn the control knob to begin cooling the processing chamber. When the temperature has reached negative five degrees Celsius, press ready to begin the processing cycle. When the cycle is complete, return the BR cryo control knob to the off position. Open the bead wrapper lid and remove your samples. 